Little Geeks, Little Boss. Bob Grano, Minnie Bother Me Talk everybody. Welcome back to another Little Geeks Little Watch video. Today's video comes from our friend Cleo. He found this at one of his local stores. And you can check him out on Caster's Corner, Caster with a K, Corner with a K. So thank you, Cleo, for getting this for us to review. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for getting it. And thank you, Hasbro, for making it. Let's see what we got in the box today. Magic, magic. Well, check it out, everybody. We got the Transformers Cup, the Transformers Movie Studio Series 86. This is one of the cooler bots that I've been seeing. As you can see, he's pretty G1 accurate. He comes with his backdrop, which is, let's see, the Sea Squid Showdown. And he transforms just like a Cybertronian bot. I wouldn't say the transformation is a bit G1. It looks more like um, a newer movie type cup, but the bot outside of the transformation looks pretty G1. Wait a minute, my dad said it looks just like it's in the G1 movie. Guess we're gonna have to watch it again tonight. He really does look a lot like the G1 movie, so let's get him open and check it out. Open, open. All right, everybody, we got him out of the box, and as you can see, this is pretty G1 accurate. He comes with the Energon stick holder that he fed to the sharks to keep him from eating them. And then he also has his blaster, and it's the squid from the movie on the box. Let's check out the figure now. So let's put this to the side. As you can see, this is a pretty G1 accurate, but he has, he looks just like it from the movie. He also has like this pretty cool sound wave looking chest. If you look at his face up close, he looks a little bit sad, but probably because his set is themed off of the um, shark attack one. He, it's pretty cool that they did include the Energon stick, and he looks just like he did on the movie screen. The cool thing is that I bet this is part of the transformation. You like pull this up and like that, and then it shows the Autobot logo, but let's check him out next to the older one. So as you can see, these are pretty two, cool two cups. This one has his chest that flips open. I think this one might too. No. But as you can see, I think this one's a bit better because he looks more of like the newer type of bots. This one is more of the um, blockier ones when they were still starting to create the Transformers. You can see how much better Hasbro's getting at making Transformers. He looks great in bot mode. Let's check him out in alt mode. His alt transformation mode. to cup was about 21 steps. As you can see, he's a pretty cool bot once he's transformed. Now he looks pretty G1. And unlike my previous statement, he does look like just... He looks just like he did in the movie. But as you can see, he's a pretty cool bot. He has his Energon stick on the side and his blaster on the side. I wonder if Optimus' trailer would work with this. But that's for later. He finishes up really cleanly and he rolls. He's available now for $19.99. He's for ages 8 and up and he's one of the deluxe class figures. Our friend at Caster's Corner, our friend Khalil, found this at one of his local toy stores. So thank you, Khalil. You can check him out at casterscorner.com or at Caster Corner on his socials, Caster with a K, Corner with a K. You should know for his transformation, there's a little trick. You have to like rotate his shoulders down. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for getting this for us. Thank you, Asbro, for making it. And thank you, everybody, for watching another Little Geeks Little Bots video. Till all the Notes on Little Geeks for more toys and more fun. Please like our video and subscribe for our YouTube channel.